border is once again open after a confrontation between U.S. Border Patrol and a group of migrants trying to enter the U.S. Agents fired tear gas at the crowd trying to cross the border illegally. Anna Warnicke reports immigration activists are condemning the U.S. response as overblown while the DHS officials are threatening more of the same. President Donald Trump is trying to stop hundreds of migrants seeking asylum in the United States. They're not coming into the United States. They will not be coming into our country. On Sunday, U.S. authorities shut the country's busiest southern border crossing and fired tear gas at migrants trying to cross the border illegally. Maria Teresa Kumar with Voto Latino says the situation should have never happened. The fact that we knew for over two months that this caravan was approaching and that our government's response was to tear gas the majority of folks that were seeking asylum is shocking. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen defended the action on Twitter, saying agents only used tear gas after migrants started throwing rocks at them. But Kumar says the president's response to shut down the border is cruel and unnecessary and may not be legal. The president found a loophole and his loophole was to disrupt 90,000 people that cross that border every day for, for business of commerce to basically prevent mothers and children and fathers to seek asylum in our borders. Mexican officials say the migrants who tried to enter the U.S. will be deported, but Kumar says that doesn't address the hundreds of asylum-seeking migrants still en route to the U.S.-Mexico border. Kumar says Congress needs to step in and restore humanity to the border. We need to have an oversight committee of the disruptions and basically the overstep that the Trump administration and their cabinet are doing. And the president is also looking to Congress for a permanent fix and using Twitter to urge Congress to fund his long-promised border wall. In Washington, Anna Warnicke, ABC4 News.